Back in the armchair sessions here in the Bayplex, and with me is NHL linesman Matt McPherson. Matt, first of all, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me, Dave. Uh, it's it's uh, a pleasure to be back here in Cape Breton. Uh, drove in drove in yesterday afternoon. I realized uh, I was driving in. It's been a while since I've been here. Uh, it's been over four years, I think, now since I've uh, worked here in the Quebec Major Junior League. So it's it's a pleasure to be back. Uh, beautiful country. Uh, me from Antigonish. Uh, I spent a lot of time here playing hockey growing up. So uh, it's it's a pleasure to be here. Again. Now, a lot of uh, young officials are here this weekend, and you had to make that decision a number of years ago when you wanted to go to the next step. You were doing Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, and then you had to make the decision that you, if you want to be a referee as part of your career, you had to do, I guess, a good paying job in Halifax. What was the impetus for you to make that big decision? I mean, it is a tough decision to make at that stage in life. It's definitely a tough decision, and, and you know what? It, it was not an easy decision. Uh, it took a lot of thought. I think in the back of my mind, I always knew that I was going to make the move to go. Um, and the reason being is, is, I, is if I didn't, you know, uh, I, I'd, be, I'd be regretting that, you know, the rest of my life, what if, what if I didn't make it? So, you know what, I can always come back and get a job if it didn't work out. So so I think I always knew that uh, that I was going to do it. Um, that being said, uh, to give up a good, uh, a good paying job, a good career job in Halifax, um, to go down and work minor pro hockey, um, you know, just, just scraping by the, by the skinny of your teeth down there. Um, you know, sort of chasing the dream for the NHL is not easy. Uh, uh, my girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife, uh, she was uh, nothing short of amazing in that regard. We did long distance for the two seasons I was down uh, down south. Uh, she stuck by me. She she got it. You know, she she really knows you know the passion that I had and, and what my goals were and what I wanted to do. And, and she was she was amazing in that regard. And tell me where there's those nights when you were sitting down after a game at the Wheeling Nailers or somebody sitting in a dressing room saying, what did I do? Did you ever have one of those nights? There's a lot of those nights. Those long, uh, long February nights where, you know, you had uh, four games and four nights and you're just you're driving five hours after a game back to Reading, Pennsylvania is where I lived. And, uh, you know, you're thinking, you know, am I making the right decisions here? I mean, you know, is this going to happen or, or am I sort of running down a dead end road here? But uh, you know, um, you, you gotta you're gonna go through those moments, and you gotta just reassure yourself and, and, and give yourself a check, a reality check as to why you're doing this. Um, and, and I mean, that being said, I had a lot of fun down there too. It, it was uh, working the East Coast League and, and working the American League those two years uh, was was a great experience for me. Uh, I got to see a lot of uh, you know a lot of uh, cities and, and, and small towns that uh, I never would have the opportunity to see uh, in any other regard. So. So you go from the East Coast League, now you're in the National Hockey League. What was it like that first game? Where was it? And how did you feel right at the start of the game? That's it. The first game was, was a total blur. It was, uh, the whole day was was uh, was a lot of fun. Uh, my teammates, uh, Steve Miller was my partner on the lines, and uh, uh, Marcus Finnerberg and uh, Chris Rooney were the, were the referees for the game. And they, they went out of their way to make me feel comfortable, to make me feel welcome in the league. Um, it's a big day. I realize it's a big day for me, for my family. Um, had a lot of family there with me. Uh, but the game itself, to be honest with you, it, it's, it was a total blur. It was. Uh, I, I enjoyed every minute of it, but uh, you know, in, I mean, stepping out for the first time. Uh, was, sorry to answer your question. It was in Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh's home opener against Florida. Um, you know, sell out, walk out in front of a sell out crowd in the, in the National Hockey League, where you know you, you grow up watching hockey. You it's, it's a dream come true, right? So, uh, and, and it was a pleasure, and it was, but the day was a blur. How were the players? The players were great. I, in my experience, uh, I worked 51, ended up working 51 games in the National League last year, and the professionalism of, of the players um, is, it, it blows my mind. I, I mean, they are, they are true cosmic professionals. Um, they're, I'm amazed at their talents. Um, I, I wish I could do what they can do on the ice. Um, I can't, so that's why I don't have a stick in my hand. I guess the low point right now for you is the fact that the labor stopped, which now you're second you're moving full time into the National Hockey League, and now it's in Hall. Yeah, I was promoted this summer to, to full time status. Uh, last year I was part time, uh, half and half uh, American League NHL, and uh, you know, timing wise, you know, we have this, this lockout now, and then you know, it, it's up. There's there's no question. We we want to be working. Uh, we love the game. I think this is the longest I've gone without being on the ice uh, officiating a hockey game. It, uh, so you know, we we are. Uh, we're ready to get back to work. Uh, there's no question about that. Um, 
and that being said, we have to we have to keep ourselves ready. You know, uh, one of our big things is we got we got to stay in shape. We got to be ready to go because I suspect uh, having obviously not been through one of these uh, before, but I suspect when if and when we do get back to work this season, uh, it's going to happen quick, and we're going to have to be ready to go right from the right out the gate. So, there's a young person who has a question for you, Matt. Go ahead. It's awesome. What's your name, sir? Darcy. Darcy? Um, it's an awesome job. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's amazing. Uh, to be able to step out on the ice and, uh, and, and, and to 20,000 screaming fans, uh, sometimes or most of the time they're yelling at you, but uh, you know what? You, you brush that up. It's, it's a lot of fun, honestly, Darcy. It's, uh, it's a dream come true. Dream come. And uh, who's the toughest player that you have a fight up with? Toughest, I guess, well, Zdeno Chara is a big man, I'm not going to lie, he's, uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big guy, I'm, I'm six foot five, but there's not a whole lot of guys that I'm looking up to. Um, I, was, I was fortunate enough, uh, I, I had him a couple, a little scrum in, uh, in Boston this year, um, nothing major, but, but to grab a hold of a guy like Zdeno Chara and try to move him. If he's not, uh, you know, if he doesn't want to move, it's, it's, a, it's a big job to move him, but uh, <laughs> luckily he helped me out a little bit in that regard. Did you ever break up Sidney Crosby in a fight? Never had Sidney Crosby in a fight yet, no. Um, I only saw, actually only saw Crosby one game last year. Uh, he, you know, he was out with injuries. Uh, I saw Pittsburgh, I think, five or six times last year, but uh, Crosby only played one game. T tell me, Matt, one, one other question. When you were uh, living in Anaheim, and uh, you were officiating at a younger age, played hockey as a young guy at a younger age as well, but when, was there any particular moment that you decided that you wanted to be an official? I get asked that question a lot, and I don't know when the moment was. I mean, I started officiating at 15. I played and officiated at the same time. Um, I played up uh, through minor hockey. I played uh, high school hockey for two years in Antigonish. Uh, started off playing a little junior B, uh, and, and I, I mean, I, I realized that that was basically the extent of, of my playing career. I wasn't going to make it any farther than that. Um, just wasn't in the cards, and at that point I was, you know, I was already officiating, you know, major uh, midget hockey, major midget. So I decided to, to, you know, sort of throw my hat in the ring, uh, get uh, get out of the playing, and, and focus focus my efforts on officiating. And uh, you know, I, I kind of worked my way up through the ranks there. And, and I, people ask me the question, when did you realize you wanted to, to make a career of it and, and you know make it in the NHL? And I don't really know when that moment came. I think it just. It was sort of an evolution um, as I worked from level to level to level. I kind of realized that okay, maybe there's you know maybe there's something here. Maybe I can do this. Uh, you know, and I think working in the Quebec League for four years was a, was a big jump. In that. Well, listen, congratulations! Thanks for joining us here on the Armchair Sessions and being in Glace Bay this weekend. Thanks for having me, Chris. Matt McPherson, National Hockey League lines. We're going to take a little bit of a break because we have to do the opening for a, a game, but we'd like everyone to stay around because we're going to be talking to. Uh, Man, they call Coho, former National Hockey League referee Don Koharski.